Brace yourselves as we are about to embark on an intriguing journey back in time to the land of the pharaohs, ancient Egypt. Ancient Egypt, a civilization that emerged over 5,000 years ago along the fertile banks of the Nile River, is renowned for its remarkable contributions to art, science, and culture. An era of grandeur and mystery, it was a time when pharaohs ruled, gods were revered, and monuments that defied the sands of time were built. Spanning over 3,000 years, the ancient Egyptian civilization was marked by periods of incredible prosperity and power, known as the Old, Middle, and New Kingdoms, punctuated by intermittent periods of decline. These epochs were times of monumental construction, with pharaohs commissioning temples, tombs, and statues to honor their gods and secure their own immortality. From the Steppe Pyramid of Djoser, the first colossal stone building in history, to the Great Pyramid of Giza, the last of the seven wonders of the ancient world still standing, the architectural feats of this civilization continue to astound us. But it's not just the size and scale of these structures that captivate us, but the stories they tell. The ancient Egyptians were deeply religious, and their belief in life after death was a driving force in their culture. Their complex pantheon of gods represented natural forces and societal values, and their elaborate religious rituals were meant to ensure harmony between the world of the living and the divine. Their language, preserved in hieroglyphs, offers us a window into their world. From tales of legendary pharaohs, like the boy King Tutankhamun and the powerful Queen Cleopatra, to everyday life and philosophical musings, these ancient texts reveal a society that was both complex and sophisticated. The legacy of ancient Egypt is not just confined to its monuments and texts, but is also reflected in its art. From majestic statues to intricate jewelry, their art was not merely decorative, but a means to convey religious and symbolic meanings. Now, with an understanding of this grand historical context, let us delve into the world of the lost temples of ancient Egypt. Imagine a temple floating on the Nile, a sanctuary dedicated to the goddess Isis. Welcome to Philae Temple. Nestled on an island in the Nile, Philae Temple is a marvel of ancient architecture and a tribute to the enduring spirit of the Egyptian people. This temple was the last bastion where the ancient religion of Egypt was practiced, and the cult of Isis thrived here until as late as the 6th century AD. Philae was not just a temple but a city of priests. The island was a powerhouse of religious activity, and the temple was its heart. The complex is a collection of buildings, each with a unique role in the elaborate rituals of the ancient Egyptians. The main temple, dedicated to Isis, was a place of worship and sacrifice, while the smaller temples and chapels scattered around the island were dedicated to other deities. The temple's unique setting, floating on the Nile, was not part of the original design. In fact, the temple was relocated to its current location on Agilkia Island in the mid-20th century, in a massive UNESCO-led project to save it from the rising waters of Lake Nasser. This feat of modern engineering only adds to the temple's mystique. The main temple of Isis is a grand structure, adorned with detailed reliefs and inscriptions that provide a window into the beliefs and rituals of the time. The outer walls depict scenes from the life of Ptolemy the Poirin, showing him smiting his enemies and offering gifts to the gods. Inside, the sacred sanctuary held the statue of Isis, the focus of the temple's religious rites. Beyond the main temple, the island is dotted with other significant structures. The Kiosk of Trajan, often referred to as Pharaoh's Bed, is a picturesque ruin with beautifully carved columns. The Temple of Hathor, smaller yet equally captivating, holds fascinating reliefs, including one depicting the goddess Nut, in her form as a sycamore tree, nursing the pharaoh. The Philae Temple, a testament to the ingenuity and devotion of ancient Egyptians, Next, we journey to the heart of ancient Thebes, now known as Luxor, where we find the monumental Luxor Temple. This awe-inspiring temple, one of the most beautiful and best preserved of all the ancient monuments, is a testament to the grandeur of the New Kingdom pharaohs. It was primarily built by two pharaohs, Amenhotep III and Ramses II. Their respective contributions to the temple encapsulate the changing dynamics of power and worship over the centuries. The entrance, marked by a grand pylon, is a testament to the architectural prowess of the ancients. This colossal gateway, decorated with reliefs of military victories and divine rituals, was a symbol of the pharaoh's power and divine connection. As you traverse through the temple, the great court of Ramses II awaits, a forest of towering columns and statues, each narrating a tale of its own. 
The temple's architectural timeline is a fascinating journey. Over the centuries, various rulers have added to, subtracted from, and modified the temple. Even Alexander the Great, the famous Macedonian conqueror, left his mark here, building a shrine within the temple complex. The temple's walls are a canvas of history, adorned with intricate reliefs and inscriptions. These carvings depict the divine birth of Amenhotep III, his divine marriage, and his association with the gods. This divine narrative was a political tool, reinforcing the pharaoh's status as a god on earth. The sacred areas within Luxor Temple, like the Sanctuary of Amun, are places of profound spiritual significance. Here, the ancient priests would perform sacred rituals connecting with the divine to ensure the prosperity of the kingdom. The Luxor Temple, despite the ravages of time, has stood strong, a testament to the ingenuity and spiritual depth of the ancient Egyptians. Today, it continues to captivate visitors with its grandeur and mystical allure. The Luxor Temple, a living museum, still stands tall, narrating tales of the past. Our journey continues to the largest religious building ever constructed, the Karnak Temple. This impressive structure is more than a temple. It's an immense complex, a city of temples, erected over a period of 2,000 years by generations of pharaohs. A testament to their faith and devotion, it stands as an unrivaled architectural achievement. The Karnak Temple is dedicated to the Theban triad of Amun, Mut, and Khonsu. The heart of the complex is the Temple of Amun-Ra, the King of the Gods. This temple was the religious epicenter of Thebes, and by extension, all of Egypt. The grandeur of Karnak Temple is best encapsulated by the Great Hypo-style Hall. This colossal space, filled with a forest of towering stone pillars, is a sight to behold. Each pillar, intricately carved with hieroglyphics and divine imagery, tells a story of the gods and the pharaohs who worship them. Yet the temple complex is not solely about grand structures and divine tributes, it's also a place of sublime, quiet beauty. One such place is the Sacred Lake, a pool used for ritual purification. It's here that priests would cleanse themselves before performing sacred rites. Today the Sacred Lake serves as a serene reminder of the spiritual rituals that once permeated these ancient grounds. The Karnak Temple also houses other intriguing features. There is the Festival Temple of Tuthmosis III, a unique structure built to celebrate the Jubilee of the Pharaoh. Then there's the Avenue of Sphinxes, a grand processional way lined with human-headed Sphinx statues, once connecting Karnak and Luxor temples. Exploring Karnak Temple is like stepping into a time capsule, a glimpse into the deep reverence the ancient Egyptians had for their gods. It's a place where the divine and the earthly realms once intertwined, where pharaohs, priests, and the populace came to pay homage to their gods. The Karnak Temple, a symbol of the divine and a monument of magnificent grandeur. Now, let us explore an era of change, the Amarna period and its unique temples. The Amarna period, a time of significant transformation in ancient Egypt, was marked by the reign of the pharaoh Akhenaten in the 14th century BCE. This era saw a radical shift in religious practices and architectural style, as Akhenaten introduced the worship of a single deity, the sun disk Aten, and moved the capital city to Amarna. The temples of this period embody this transformation. Unlike their predecessors, these temples were open to the sunlight, symbolizing the direct relationship between the pharaoh, the people, and Aten. The primary temple, known as the Great Temple of the Aten, was a vast, sprawling complex without the traditional pylons and dark sanctuaries. Instead, it featured open-air altars and sunlit courts, inviting the rays of Aten to touch every corner. Another notable temple is the small temple of the Aten, dedicated to Queen Nefertiti. It was a smaller version of the Great Temple, showcasing the same architectural philosophy of open spaces and sunlight. Akhenaten's religious revolution was not just about a shift in the worship of deities, but also a change in the artistic conventions. The art and inscriptions in these temples depicted the royal family in a more naturalistic and intimate manner, a stark contrast to the formal and idealized depictions of the earlier periods. However, this period of change was short-lived. After Akhenaten's death, his successors returned to the worship of multiple gods, and Amarna was abandoned. The temples fell into disrepair, their stones reused in later constructions. Today, the ruins of the Amarna temples offer invaluable insights into this brief but crucial period of Egyptian history. They stand as a testament to a pharaoh's attempt to revolutionize the religious practices of an empire. Archaeologists continue to excavate these sites, 
piecing together the story of a time when Egypt dared to imagine a different relationship with the divine. The Temples of the Amarna Period, a testament to the evolution of religious beliefs in ancient Egypt. As our journey through time and these magnificent structures comes to an end, let's reflect on the present state of these lost temples. These ancient pillars of history, weathered by the sands of time, still stand as proud testaments to a civilization that was far ahead of its time. Today, the lost temples of ancient Egypt, some partially submerged in the waters of the Nile, others peeking out from the dunes of the desert, continue to mesmerize us with their grandeur and mystery. These structures, each a masterpiece in its own right, remain a source of endless fascination for researchers, archaeologists, and tourists alike, preservation efforts are underway to protect these priceless artifacts of history. The Egyptian government, in collaboration with international organizations, has implemented various conservation initiatives. These include the use of advanced technology for digital preservation, such as 3D modeling and virtual reality, to capture and document these historical sites in their entirety. But the preservation of these temples is not just about maintaining the physical structures. It's also about preserving the cultural heritage and the rich mythology that these temples embody. The stories etched on their walls, the gods they were dedicated to, and the rituals performed within their sacred confines are all integral parts of the tapestry of ancient Egypt's history. The temples have left an indelible imprint on modern culture. They've influenced art, architecture, literature, and have provided valuable insights into the beliefs and practices of an ancient civilization. Archaeologists continue to uncover new information from these sites, deepening our understanding of a culture that, though long past, continues to resonate with us today. In the hearts of those who visit, these temples evoke a sense of awe and wonder, a connection to a bygone era that was remarkably advanced and incredibly spiritual. The impact of these ancient structures extends beyond their physical presence, reaching into the realms of human curiosity and the quest for knowledge, these lost temples of ancient Egypt, standing tall against the sands of time, continue to intrigue and inspire us, as they will for generations to come.